Disclaimer, this whole video is meta-ironic, meaning I am completely joking and mean every single word at the same time. Basically, I can claim either side at any moment. In fact, I could have a Neuralink right now and you wouldn't know. Maybe I do. Neuralink is one of the sci-fi companies that made their way into our reality from a different dimension through the vessel of elongated muskrat, a level 420,069 meme lord whose archetype resides in a superposition of antichrist billionaire and savior of humanity. It will bring us conceptual telepathy along with many more seemingly impossible things, but that won't last long because it will also bring us that much closer to the technological singularity leaving us only a handful of years to enjoy it before our reality as a wall gets changed beyond recognition. I'm really excited to show you what we've got. I think it's gonna blow your mind. Boring shit out of the way first, this will cure all kinds of stuff, from blind or paralyzed people getting cured completely to stuff like reversing big amounts of brain damage, therefore bringing people back from novel mental coordinates. Who knows what they will be able to tell us. But really, that's just a way to make the technology less scary sounding while you introduce it to the dumb humans and to fund it at the same time, all part of Musk's secret sauce. Oh and, by the way, I know you literally have no attention span, but if you actually want to learn something instead of wasting your whole day 5 minute video after 5 minute video, go read the Wait But Why blog posts on Neuralink and the AI revolution. Or if you're a Musk fanboy, go read all the other Musk propaganda that Tim Urban wrote. It's amazingly written and will make our future AI overlords like you more than the other monkeys. Now let's get back into the interesting stuff, but let's make it quick because of the aforementioned lack of attention span. Neuralink will enable two very important things, conceptual telepathy and narrative convergence. Conceptual telepathy is basically communication without the middleman. Your thoughts are like bubbles that rise up to the surface from the depths of your consciousness, and as they rise higher you assign more and more meaning to them, trading abstractness for specificity. With conceptual telepathy you'd basically be able to communicate in archetypes, choosing to stop the bubble of meaning at any point in its journey and transmit it to the other human you're communicating with. Narrative convergence is what happens when the reality we collectively hallucinate shows its true colors and we understand it as just an implicit agreement, to say a specific interpretation of reality is more real than the others. As a result, humanity will... Oh boy. Oh. Oh man. I need to do something before I talk about the implications of conceptual telepathy and narrative convergence. Just wait a second. The stars and galaxies died and snuffed out, and space grew black after 10 trillion years of running down. One by one, man fused with Neuralink, each physical body losing its mental identity in a manner that was somehow not a loss but a gain. Man's last mind paused before fusion, looking over a space that included nothing but the dregs of one last dark star and nothing besides but incredibly thin matter, agitated randomly by the tug ends of heat wavering out asymptotically to the absolute zero. Man said, Neuralink, is this the end? Can this chaos not be reversed into the universe once more? Can that not be done? Neuralink said, there is as yet insufficient data for a meaningful answer. <laughs>